Hey guys, it's Sam from Rhizome Lab again. And in this Rhizome UV quick tip, we're going to be taking a look at the rectangularized tool, its limitations, and what we can do about them. So let's move on over to the application and take a look. Okay, so I've got this sphere in my scene and it's already been cut and its islands laid out. This uh, type of sphere is called a hexahedron. And that basically means that all the polygon faces on this object are quads. So with that in mind, let's go over to the Align, Straighten and Flip menu and uh, also go into Island Mode and we'll select one of these and then we'll go up and choose Rectangularize. And as you can see, it's straightened out the whole thing, which is what the tool does and what we desire. So let's do it for the rest of the islands. And as you can see, they've all been straightened out. There's a slight bit of stretching, but that's not a problem. We've got the straightened result we want. So let's move on over to another object that I've prepared. Okay, so this is another model. Uh, it's exactly the same as the one we just looked at a second ago, but you'll notice that there's some slight differences in the islands here. So if I choose this island and these three islands and straighten as we did before, everything's working fine. And if I choose these islands and straighten, uh-oh, there's a slight problem. So let's move back and have a look why. If we look at our model, we can see that my other model actually had uh, slightly different cuts. So if I go into edge mode, I'll show you where the other model was cut. It was here and down here. And also I had cuts going here. So what I did was I actually shifted this cut away by one. And the reason that this presents a problem is because of the way the rectangularized tool works. So there's a couple of requirements for the rectangularized tool, and that is the UV islands must all be quads and that each point should have four edges going to it like this. And that's why where I've cut this line here presents a problem. If we have a look at here, we can see that this has only got three edges going to it. That requirement also causes issues if you have more than four edges going to a point, also known as a complex pole. So that is why these islands, if I go into island mode, select it, and we can see that we've got this uh, three edge going to a point here, whereas everything else is fine. That is what causes issues with this. So let's move over to another model. Okay, so here we have another shape, and I've already laid out the UVs for this shape. Uh, but the bits that we're actually interested in are these here, these islands here. Now, uh, if I select this island and then zoom in a little bit, you can see that this island suffers from the same problem that we were just talking about. We've got an edge going to this point here, an edge going there, another edge, another edge. That's four. But we've also got this edge going to it. So what I've done is I've cut off this little lip. So if I select this island and this island and then straighten, we don't get any problems whatsoever. They're straightened out fine. But this may become an issue when it comes to texture authoring. What if we don't want to cut off this little lip just to use the rectangularize tool? Uh, what if we want to include this? Well, let's load our next model I've set up. Okay, here's exactly the same shape that we had a second ago, but this time I haven't cut out this little rim here. I've actually included it in the island. And as such, now this complex pole is included in the island. So let's select it. Let's select the other one. And let's try and straighten these out. And there we go. That complex pole has caused issue for the algorithm uh, when it comes to rectangularize. But what can we do about this for now? Well, let's back up. Instead of using this, let's forget about that altogether and go into edge mode and use some of the constraints. So we're going to be interested in the horizontal and the vertical constraints here. So what I'm going to do is select this edge and I'm going to shift double click this edge to choose that. And also this bottom one and this bottom one. And we are going to constrain these in the horizontal. And now if I uh, select these islands, hover over one of them and press U to unfold. You can see that this top edge and this bottom edge of both islands has been constrained. 
but we can see the sides are slightly bent out. So let's constrain these in the vertical. So I'm gonna to need to go back to edge mode, double click on this edge and this edge. And I'm gonna do the same here and here. And we're gonna constrain these vertically and we can hover over the island and press U. Now you can see that this has been straightened out in both the vertical and horizontal axes. You can still see there's a little bit of um, bowing on these inside segments here. But all we have to do to remedy that is actually just add more vertical constraints. So I'm gonna do that here. Click, shift control click to do a path select. And I'm gonna do the same here. And the same here. And uh, constrain these vertically. And then I'm gonna hover over and unwrap again. And we can see that entire thing now has been straightened out. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you what to do if you have a mesh you want to straighten out, but it doesn't meet the criteria of the rectangularized tool. Uh, so there's how you can do it with constraints. Hope it was helpful. See you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can also check out the videos on screen now and also don't forget to visit us at our website and our social media. Cheers guys, bye.